everybody, fishing a stream today that I have fished a couple of times before. Ignore the giant pipe next to me here. Uh, but I don't think it's ever been in a full Tinkara Addict video. So I wanted to change that. I'm in Utah right now, and I'm fishing a small little rod that a couple of people have emailed me about, so I decided to finally get it. I bought it off of Amazon. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I will put the price on the screen here, and links to this rod will be in the video description. But this is the Aventic IM12 Nano Tenkara 9 foot 10 section. 6.4 or 6.4 action rod. This is a very dainty little rod. It's lightweight. I will weigh it both with and without the cap and put the the weights on the screen here. And it's just a very, like it's, it feels like a, a magic wand really is what it feels like. So I'm excited to, to fish it. I've never fished with it. I've never even wiggled it around before. So let's get to fishing. Okay, I put a nine foot line on this nine foot rod. And I have a Utah Killer Kabari fly, or no, Idaho Killer Kabari fly. It casts nicely. It's from these first few. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good little rod. I think. I'll give my final thoughts at the end of the video, but initial impressions are surprisingly positive. Usually these cheaper Amazon rods just feel terrible, like heavy and unbalanced. But this one is is pretty good. I think they also make a 12 foot version of this rod. If this video gets 800 likes, I will buy the 12 foot version of this rod and make a video about it. So hit the like button. If you're not used to doing that, it's on YouTube or in the YouTube app. Below the video, there's a thumb up and there's a thumb down. Hit the thumb up. Let's see if we can get to 800, which is more than I usually get on videos. I don't like the white. I think white is my least favorite color for Tenkara rods. I just think it looks bad, it looks cheap. It's like I could just print it out on my dot matrix printer. You know, it just doesn't look, doesn't look good. This is a surprisingly good rod. I always say that a good rod will just disappear in your hand. You won't have to think about it. It'll just work with you. And that's what I'm feeling with this rod, believe it or not. Fish on. First fish on the Aventic, on the nine foot Aventic. What do we have? Brown trout, I think? Yes, that is a brown trout. Fly is out. Nice, nice brown trout. It's not very big. He's like seven inches long. That's a nice fish. Great. Well, no issues landing a fish on this rod. Oh, and by the way, I will also measure the length of this rod, both collapsed and extended. I'll give you those exact numbers. I'll put those on the screen too. Cause you know, companies like this, they'll say nine feet, but is it really nine feet? Who knows? Got one. Feels bigger. It is bigger. Yeah, much bigger. Wow. Holy cow. I mean, that's eight. I mean, that's a 13 inch fish. 12 and a half or 13 inches. This brown trout has some teeth to him that I can see. Look at that. That's a... That's a big fish on a little rod like this. I don't know how good the rod would be 
at fighting this fish in like strong current. Cause right here, it's just like a kind of a static little pool here, but it seemed to do okay. He kind of just floated into the net, so. Cool fish. See ya, buddy. Well, that was surprising. <laughs> that was that was fantastic. I like catching brown trout. I don't catch them too much where I live. I catch them occasionally. Like I know where to go if I do want to catch them, but just in general, I mostly catch cutthroats and then brook trout and then rainbow trout and then brown trout are kind of at the bottom of the list. These gloves, by the way, are by Gocher, Gotour. I got them off of Amazon. They're fine. They're like neoprene gloves. So if they get wet, they won't become completely useless. And they have, you know, a, a mitten part that folds over. They're good. Good enough for like cool weather fishing. It's probably about 35 degrees right now. Oh, next cast. Got a fish. That's crazy. Another <laughs> decent brown trout. But anyway, I'll put links to these gloves in the description if you want to check it out. Check them out. Fly came out. What is happening? Not quite as big as the last one, maybe like an inch or two shorter. If he calms down, let's see, eight and five. That's again 13 inches. Jeez. Still seems a little bit smaller than the last one. See you, buddy. That was shocking. Yeah, this is the money pool. Next one on the next cast. It's a little, a little trout that came off. I think it was another little brown trout. And yeah, I wouldn't use these gloves if it's like frigid outside. But they're good enough for this kind of thing. Fish on. That is not a brown trout. That is a rainbow trout. Again, surprisingly good sized. Let's see, that's seven and five. So that's a 12 incher. 11 and a half, 12, somewhere in there. Really pretty rainbow. Yeah, it's about 11 inches. See you, buddy. Now, some people might be wondering about the lack of a handle. And that doesn't bother me. It's never bothered me. I have several rods that don't have a cork or a foam grip. And I think I probably prefer this just because it's lighter. I don't need a grip on my rods. Fish on. Big one. Big rainbow. That is the biggest of the two rainbows I've caught. 10 and three, yeah, it's a 13 incher. Jeez, guys. This, this stream is awesome. It was not this good the last time I fished it. Don't you love it when that happens? You fish a stream and it's fine. And then you go back and it's like, whoa, where have you been all my life? Oh, I'm briefly in the sun for this like 20 foot long section of stream. I'm in the sun and it feels glorious. But now I'm leaving the sun <laughs> after about 30 seconds. It was good while it lasted. Okay, this spot surely has fish in it. It looks really good. Especially a little bit under and beyond the pipe at the head of the pool. It looks like there are another couple of larger, deeper, slower sections above this, so. It's looking promising.
Oh, fish on. Brown trout. I was turning around to make sure I wasn't casting into this thing, this plant here. And I had a fish on. Another, I mean, decent, decent fish. It's a 12 inch, 12 inch brown trout. Right here, kind of to the left of that, that big rock sticking out. This is just fantastic fishing. I'm just looking at, oh, had one on. It was a smaller one, like six inches or so. I was gonna say I was looking for the, the line to suddenly stop moving. Or looking for the end of the line to, so, there we go. Suddenly change direction. Oh, come on. It's a small rainbow trout. I saw the line suddenly go tight on this one. Flies out. He's chunky, he's a little football. Fish on. Oh, he's a feisty one. Got him. It's about an eight inch rainbow. See ya, buddy. Ooh. That was a fish. That's what I'm looking for. Got him. Another very good brown trout. Eight and four, or seven and four, I guess. So that's a nice 11 incher. Awesome. Let's catch one more. Fish on. Another brown trout, it looks like. Whoa. It's not giant. Maybe 10 inches. Or maybe, eh, maybe, no, that's bigger than 10. Let's see, eight. Yeah, that's a 12 incher. Nice, pretty clean spots on this one. So that was fish number 10 with this rod in about an hour and a half. Good fishing, uh, great fish, surprisingly big fish in here. And I'm also surprised by this little rod. I really enjoyed it. It's a great little rod. Two things I didn't mention, the tip plug, the plug cap thing here, comes with some, uh, some Lillian cord on it, so that's nice. If you need to replace the Lillian, you can. And then you see this line right here? This demarcates the two different sections. This separates two different sections of the rod here. This down here where you, where you grip, it's kind of a textured material, or at least it's like, a, it's like a matte material. And then this upper part and the rest of the rod is glossy, but this bottom part is matte and it feels good. It feels nice, not too slippery. Overall, <laughs> great little rod. Uh, I do recommend it, especially for the price. I mean, you can't go wrong. If you need a rod of this length and don't have a big budget, yeah, go for it. It's a, it's a rod I, I surprisingly enjoyed fishing with. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to hit that like button so we can get this video to 800 likes so I can buy the big brother to this rod, see what it's like. And with that, I'm gonna head back in the car, have a few hours of driving to do. I'll see you guys in the next one.